So did you drive anything this old? Well, uh, this is the engine that we took from Raleigh down to Saratoga. We come down to Walcott and then went up the short line to Saratoga. And that's where we turned and brought it back. It's uh, three drivers, burned coal, and uh, well, you can see the smokestack, the uh, sanders, and the whistle. And uh, I don't know what all it is. Engine number 12 1242. Oh, yeah, 42, yeah. Anyhow, for sure. Pretty crude machine, but I got it done the job. It, uh, the firebox there for the engine is about eight foot long and two foot wide. And you, you just carried it a full length of it. Now, you shoveled all the coal, and uh, you took your own water. You, uh, you had to refuel the sanders every so often because you run out of sand on it so easy. Yeah. Then, I don't know of anything in particular other than a steam engine, yeah. But we come down off that hill in, out of Saratoga and there was a herd of cattle in the track. And they was in the grass. The grass was high as if, as the, uh, they could, as fellow said, they could get there over the track. We didn't see them until we got halfway down the hill. Then it was too late. We slid into them, killed two of them. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. There's a bell up there and a whistle and the sander. And this is the steam, the biggest, biggest dome here is the steam dome. That's where it gets its. Uh, raw steam, or uh, not raw, but finished steam out of there goes down to the drivers there at the front end. Yeah, that's where they get their sand, or uh, what do you call it? The hot steam. Uh, this engine didn't have what they called it. They know they knew this engine by the flues. It was the old soak. That is, there was original flues, but later on. They put another tube inside of that and doubled up the tubes on all of them. And that's the new engine. These are the old soap. Yeah. They were hard to steam. Yeah. Yes. Yes, you bet. Oh, yes. Now, I fired that up and back from Saratoga, I don't know, half a dozen times. <laughs> yeah, boy. The, uh, 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 the, uh, what do you call them up there in the cab? The controls, the brake, and the handbrake, and the throttle, and uh, whatever. They was all they were very crude in makeup, alongside of the new ones. Yeah, a lot of difference. Yeah. Well, let's take a walk around. Let's go around the other side. Yeah, for sure. You bet. Yes, sir. I don't know why they made the pen so big from to get in. They made it harder to get into, I guess. Yes. Of course you are. Have you got cement? Yes. I don't know if I've ever read this plaque before. Here. Can you read it? I sure would be glad to. I'll just start here. Engine 1242 donated by UP August 23rd, 1955. Is that one? Well, that's Yes. Yeah. Oldest locomotive in Wyoming. Built 1890. Yes. At oh. Cook Locomotive Works, Patterson, New Jersey. Right. Of course, 10 wheel, 460 type. Right. Now, I'm not sure if that has a name to that type. That uh, figure shown there applies to the cylinders. Yes. The cylinders. Yeah. And the drivers, 57 inches. Yeah. <laughs> Weight, 198,370 yeah. pounds. Right. 63 feet long. Uh -huh. 165 pounds boiler pressure. Right. 
tractive force, 21,318. Right. Could fit 7,000 gallons of water in the tender and 12 tons of coal. Right. And it was assigned to the Walcott Saratoga <laughs> Encampment UP Branch Line on November 1st, 1921, made its last trip May 15th, 1954. And as you just told me, they drove it right up here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he just got bucked off. <laughs> Can you repeat what you said? You called this a proud old mama. I want to get that on tape. Uh, what? You said this was a proud old mama. Yeah. Can you repeat right. that and I'll get that, it on tape? That's for, uh, that most <laughs> locomotive in them days, it was known as the proud mama of steam locomotives, for sure. Okay, where are we going? Now that this is probably a good spot to get you in the sunlight. Um, I'll take a photo right here, please. <laughs> I wish you could get up in the cab and yeah. see the controls on right. the side of what they are now. Yes. Yeah. Well, I do go to the museums fairly often, so yeah, I'll, see that I'll catch something. Yeah. For sure. Ah. Uh, yeah. I'll say. Ah, yes. <laughs> Yeah. There's something I wanted to tell you about. The water pump was right here under this tender where you go, where you go up the ladder, or right there's the water pump. That yes. water pumps the water into the engine. Yeah. For sure. I don't know when they painted it, but it's just been lately. I think, I don't know for sure. Yeah, Looks true. pretty good. Uh -huh. Looks like they're taking care of the old gal there. Yeah. Oh, yes. Very much so. I'll say. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, for sure. Huh? And that, uh, that locomotive was built when? 18 what? 90. 1890, was it? Yes. Yeah. And they've taken out of service in 54. Yes. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's the perfect spot, Lawrence. Uncle Lawrence there. Okay, we'll just hold it for about 15 seconds. Now, the, uh, in Laramie, there's the old prison that was built years and years ago, and they've converted that into a, uh, well, the horse barn now is a, a stable. It's for serving lunches or dinner or what, or whatever. And then that's up on the top, second floor. The bottom floor has got all kinds of amusements. And then the prison is right over there, the, the old prison. And it's all redecorated, got lights in it, but you can't see the lights. They're all hid, but you can see what they reflect on. Yeah. Okay. All right. But uh, uh, they're, they're talking to tearing the prison, the, uh, uh, what do you call them over here? 